fellow Liberians, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I stand before you tonight with a grateful heart, but with the utmost respect for the democratic process that has defined our nation as your president and the leader of the Coalition for Democratic Change. I want to address you on the outcome of the runoff elections held on November 14, 2023. The results announced tonight, though not final, indicate that Ambassador Joseph Nima Buaka is in a lead that we cannot surpass. A few moments ago, I spoke with President elect Joseph Nima Buaka to congratulate him on his victory. Tonight, as we acknowledge the result, let us also recognize that the true winners of these elections are the people of Liberia. Through your peaceful and orderly exercise of your constitutional right to vote, you have once again demonstrated your commitment to the democratic principles that bind us together as a nation. On my leadership, these elections were organized with a promise to the Liberian people, a promise of fairness, peace, inclusion, transparency, and credibility. I am proud to say that we have fulfilled that promise. The Liberian people have spoken and we have heard their voice. However, the closeness of the result revealed a deep division within our country as we transition to the new administration, we must be vigilant to the dangers of division and work together to find common ground. Now, more than ever, unity is paramount for the law of Mama Liberia. To the members of the Mati Coalition for Democratic Change, federal partisans, seditions, we are shans, or auxiliaries, first-time voters, campaign managers, and party leaders, I understand that this is not the outcome we desire. Although we did not emerge victorious, your hard work and support have been the backbone of our campaign. And for that, I am deeply grateful. I urge you to follow my example and accept the result of the elections. Go home tonight with the knowledge that our ideas and vision for Liberia remain strong. We are a young movement, and our time will come again. Tomorrow, resume your daily activities in a normal way, and come and join me at our party headquarters to reflect on our journey and plan for our return to political leadership in 2029. My fellow Liberians, ladies and gentlemen, tonight, the CDC has lost the election but Liberia has won. This is a time for graciousness in defeat. A time to place our country above party and patriotism above personal interests. I remain your president until the handover of power. And I will continue to work for the good of Liberia. Let us heal the division caused by the campaign and come together as one nation and one united people. May God bless Liberia and may we continue to strive for a brighter future together. Thank you. May God bless you all. Thanks for watching. Kindly like, share, and subscribe for more updates. Keep following LB Online TV for more details on this news.